How's it going guys? Hope everyone's doing really well. So today here I'm going to be introducing my YouTube series, I suppose, of just talking to you guys, letting you guys have a better understanding of who I am and what I kind of do with uh, within baseball and how I like to branch out with uh, a bunch of different endeavors that I like to take place in. I have a bunch of hobbies that a lot of you guys probably do not know about. Uh, I'll be discussing all of that. Moving forward, um, I'll probably do a, a specialty series about certain things that I like to do off of the baseball field. Most importantly, I love to play baseball. I think that's shown in my baseball accounts, giving lessons to kids, doing personal swing breakdowns, doing swing breakdowns for kids. And I think that is the most rewarding part. To be able to play this game for such a long time, it's awesome. Uh, to be able to give back, that's something that you're just supposed to do. So a few things just generally to go over in kind of my first sit down video with you guys is uh, my videos that I do uh, on, on TikTok, on Instagram, all that stuff. Um, I like to give back to the community. Uh, I do, if you aren't aware and a first time listener, I do swing breakdowns for, for kids on TikTok and I've probably done over 3,800 um, to date, probably more honestly, during this quarantine of coronavirus to give back to the kids and uh, give them a little bit of an inspiration and uplifting uh, moment during these tough times. Probably early January, I, I reached out to basically anyone on TikTok that was following me when I was really, really small. If they wanted any type of swing breakdown from me, baseball swing breakdown, then they would uh, send in their swing on Instagram and I'm pretty sure you guys know the rest. It started blowing up and I've helped out a ton of kids. I'm very proud about that. I'm happy that it's grown to a lot, but I also wanted the quality to be insured to, uh, to your guys' standards. If I, if I were in your shoes, I would want definitely more than one word uh, explaining what I'm doing right or what I'm doing wrong in my swing. That's when I started to branch out and do personal swing breakdowns. That's uh, you, yourself, uh, only in the personal swing breakdown. It, it helps you guys get a grasp of how you're doing in your swing. I fully voice over your swing completely. And that's something that I really like to do because I can really dissect your swing and tell you what you're doing good and what you could improve on. All this really stemmed from helping you guys. I wanted to help you guys be that person of guidance. I was in your guys' shoes when I was a kid and there was social media, which there really wasn't back then, and someone was doing what I was doing, I would be extremely grateful for that opportunity to get that input from a big leaguer or from a minor leaguer and to be able to understand that sometimes your swing is okay. Um, that's the hard thing to grasp when you're such a young age. You feel like you're, you're, you can't swing as good as the pros. and. Trust me, I didn't have the perfect swing when I was a kid. Um, maybe I'll try finding some clips of an old swing, um, but it wasn't perfect. And that's what baseball is, it's a journey. You guys have to slowly graduate each level, each level, and obviously playing at the next level is always the dream. Um, it felt like just yesterday, I was in high school, in travel ball, in middle school, all that stuff, and it goes by so quick. Um, feels like I was in college just yesterday. Um, and those times go really, really quick when you're having fun. Um, feels like yesterday my name was getting called during the draft. Um, that was three years ago. Um, yeah, so th this past year has been kind of tough because I've been taken away from that game that I love so much. I broke my wrist, unfortunately, in mid-June of 2019. So it's been just about a year without baseball. Luckily enough, I got to be in big league spring training and get to play in a couple of games then. And that was really fun to be around that clubhouse of great guys. So in a swing, the, the big things that I'm looking for are one, your hips. That will usually tell me a lot about the story of your swing. So your hips, the direction of your hips, how they turn, how they move. Um, the big thing with kids are coming out of the legs. So I, I mentioned to stay in your legs. I've uploaded a video on TikTok and soon to be on YouTube as well about how to stay in your legs. Um, that's a huge one. That's the one thing I look for is your hips, how they move. Second is bounce. Bounce is so important. You hear me say it so much with all these kids. Sorry, there's a bug in here. 
hear me say balance so much with all these kids is because balance is such a huge role in how you control your swing. When you control your swing, it should be super, super easy and fluid looking. It should look easy and effortless. If you don't have great balance, it's not gonna look effortless. It's simple as that. So to have those feet planted in the ground is a huge advantage to coaches, to scouts. If you're trying to play at the next level, make your swing look fluid, make it look effortless. That's gonna help you out a lot in the long run. It's kind of crazy, whenever I go through all your videos of all your swings that you guys send me, it takes me literally less than a second to realize what you guys are doing wrong. Uh, I've watched video of myself all growing up. I've been playing baseball for 20 years almost. So it's been a very, very long process of being a baseball player. So I, when, when I'm watching video, it, it comes second nature to be able to see what you guys are doing wrong and instantly uh, recognize it. The last little note I'd like to end on is, I, I guess I would consider myself a hitting coach, uh, even though I'm still a player. Uh, with the St. Louis Cardinals. I think hitting coaches give hitters confidence. Baseball is an incredibly hard game to play. It, it is so much failure. It's so, so hard. So to be able to understand that baseball is hard and you're trying your very best, every single at bat, you're trying your very best. You have to understand as a hitting coach, your responsibility is to give confidence when hitters don't have confidence. There's a lack of confidence. If you're hitting very, very well, you need to understand you have to just keep that confidence rolling. Um, hitting coaches usually will never tell uh, Barry Bonds when he's hitting 70 home runs in a year, hey, do this, change this. Uh, that wouldn't be very smart. You wanna continue the, the success that you're having at the plate. So um, another common thing, what theme with uh, a lot of the swing breakdowns that I do is when I tell you guys repeat it, or I tell you guys perfect, awesome swing, keep it up. All those things I'm telling you, hey, your swing plays. Your swing plays at the next level. Keep it up, don't change a thing, just keep working at your craft, and sooner or later you'll learn more about your swing where you're gonna be your own coach, your own best coach. That's a huge concept that you have to understand, is to be able to coach yourself without a hitting coach. I never really had a hitting coach all, all growing up. Um, the last hitting coach I had was probably when I was 12 years old, so it's been 12 years since my last hitting coach. It's been a while. Um, I've kind of taught myself everything I know about hitting, and I think that's the way it should be, uh, to be able to understand the, the pros and cons of everything you do, what makes you, you. So when I tell you those, those compliments, keep it up, repeat it, awesome swing, perfect, keep doing what you're doing. I can't stress that enough. Um, I think you guys are awesome for showing all the support and helping me grow as much as you have. Uh, I wanna continue sharing my knowledge and experiences with you guys because I think uh, if, you're, if you're playing 20 years in baseball, uh, since I was four years old, so it's been 20, 20, uh, just about 20 years, um, and I can say I'm lucky enough to be playing to this day. The last team I was playing for was Memphis Redbirds, AAA of the Cardinals, that was last year. We'll see what this year brings us, we don't really know. Um, but I want to have you guys along for this journey. I think it'd be an incredible experience for you guys to be able to learn from me and learn with me. Baseball is a never-ending game of failure, so you're constantly learning, you're constantly climbing that hill and always trying to be better than what you are today. A few little notes. If you guys haven't already, I am giving away this hat. I haven't signed it yet. I think I've... Mm. I'll get a black Sharpie actually, but I'm gonna sign and give away this baseball hat. It's the Memphis Redbirds alternative hat. It's the uh, Memphis Chicks. And uh, it's an alternative uniform. Usually our uniform's red and baby blue. Obviously this is a royal blue, so it's kind of an alternative, unique hat that we have. Um, I'll be giving that hat away. I'm doing a giveaway on TikTok. Um, the only things that you guys have to really do, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, and comment at least three friends in the comments of any of those TikTok posts where I'm giving away that hat. I hope that whoever wins will really enjoy it. Um, also, if you guys haven't followed me in the past few days, I created a Twitch. Um, I'm gonna try gaming with some of you guys once a week, usually probably on like Wednesday or Thursday in the week. Um, 
And I think that's going to be a great experience for me and you to be able to just play video games together and have fun. Uh, I like playing creative zone wars and box fights. Those are, those are my specialties. I like doing that a lot. But I hope you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, find some knowledge, find some uh, content that you guys pair with and uh, elevate your game. All right. I think this, this unique experience of having a pro YouTuber, I don't really consider myself a YouTuber yet, but I, I'm hoping to expand my, my audience to help a lot of the youth of baseball. So if you would like to follow me through this journey of baseball and through my uh, journey to hopefully get to the big leagues one day, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my TikTok, follow my Instagram. If you want to possibly game with me, follow my Twitch, all those things. If you want a signed hat, sign up for the, the giveaway. All right, guys, take care.